Hey guys, as you could probably tell from the title, we're going to be taking a conceptual look at calculus. We're not going to be doing any real mathematics in this, in this video, but it is important to understand what calculus affords you and what it allows you to do. So in order to understand what calculus can let you do with functions, we need to look back at what we learned before approaching calculus. So in pre-calculus, you could be asked, two questions. You could be asked, what is the slope? And what is the area underneath? And you can be asked the same questions in calculus, just for the record. But in pre-calculus, we were given linear equations. So in this case, I have two plots of the graph y equals x, which should be very familiar to most of you. Now, if we want to find the slope of y equals x, we have two options. We could look at the general equation y equals mx plus b and notice that b equals 0 and m equals 1 and say m equals 1. Well, there, there's our slope. And we could also use the slope formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 given two points on the graph. We could of course find that that equals 1 and you can, you, can, you can test that for yourself, but that is true. Now, if we want to find the area underneath y equals x, what we want to do is use geometry to our advantage and, and fill in the area underneath the curve with, with shapes that we know we can find the area of. Now, in this case, it should be, should be fairly obvious that we can fill this in with a triangle and kind of take the area of that triangle. And so this is pretty straightforward. The question is, what happens when I change this function to instead of being y equals x, I change it to y equals x squared, right? This goes from y equals x to y equals x squared. And I ask you the exact same questions. What happens when I ask these questions about my new function y equals x squared? Well, suddenly it becomes non-trivial. You can no longer use y equals mx plus b to find the slope. You can no longer use the slope formula to find the slope because the slope is no longer constant. And so what technology do we have to answer these questions? And what calculus lends us is that technology. And so this technology, or these pieces of technology, are called derivatives. Derivatives and integrals. And what they allow us to do is find slope and area, area of much, much more complex functions. And so with derivatives and integrals, I could ask you now, what is, what is the slope of, slope of y equals x squared at x equals three? I could ask you that question and with the technology of a derivative, you could give me an answer. Now, what is the area under y equals x squared from x equals 0 to x equals 3. And with the technology of an integral, you could answer that question. And so that is basically what calculus is.